What is going on guys? Today I've got a FIFA 18 career mode video for you. We're going to be doing an experiment. What if PSG signed Luis Suarez? I've been hearing a bit of rumours that Neymar is not too happy with Cavani. He doesn't want to be playing with him. So that's pretty extreme. Uh, Neymar, uh, could he kind of persuade PSG to bring Luis Suarez. Obviously, uh, Luis Suarez, no team would uh, turn him down, but yeah, definitely uh, imagine uh, those two together once again like they were at Barca. So here I'm going to try and sign Luis Suarez for PSG in FIFA 18 career mode pretty much and see how they'll go through the... I'll just do the first season and see maybe could they win the Champions League, obviously, to win the league is probably, uh, yeah, going to happen uh, regardless. Normally, they do, especially in the career mode in real life as well. But, yeah, Luis Suarez, let's try and make a move for him. And if you're new around here on my channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you like this video, make sure you do leave a thumbs up for that. But let's go in and try and bring Suarez to PSG. And here we go. You can see the value on Luis Suarez, about 85 and a half mil, uh, but we may have to offer in between around 117, 107. So that's kind of a big gap. Uh, but PSG, what do you think of that price? If in real life compared to this, we'll see uh, when we can make the deal. And I always like to get a good deal, uh, kind of cheap as possible to see the cheapest amount you can kind of get for a player. If you're wondering if you could sign him yourself, uh, let's find out. Yeah, yeah. How much we can get him for. And it could be different for different teams as well, because the selling team may be aware of how much money the, the, like the opposing club has. Like in this situation, uh, Barca yeah, could know PSG, we do have money. So we'll put an initial offer in. And I will keep in mind the uh, the recommended uh, the recommended amount. So I'm, go I'm just going to go straight 120 million. I don't expect it to be accepted, but I don't think that's a terrible offer at all. So let's see what will be said there. Okay, 120 mil. Hey, <laughs> that was accepted. It's a fair offer. Uh, judging off, uh, like I said, what it was recommended. So that is not really a huge, a huge deal. That wasn't a, <laughs> like I expected there would be a bit more negotiations. Uh, but for the purposes here to yeah get the deal done pretty quickly, I think PSG have about 200 mil anyway. So that's that's a lot of money because I had a bonus. Thought I might as well use that. But we still have to make the negotiation. Luis Suarez still will have to want to join. So, will he? <laughs> Let's find out on this one. So, this is where we will... <laughs> it's funny. Cavani is on top. That's perfect for this story. Basically, him replacing him just to show that there. So, we say he'll be a crucial player. We'll just go straight into the deal. Come... Uh, he wants that as well. A three-year contract. I think that's fair enough considering his age. Maybe not more than that. So we will accept. And not looking for a release clause. So that's fine. And this is what he is demanding. Judging off his current wage, that's not too bad. Again, that's that's less than it. So, again, for the purpose of this video, like it looks like, oh, easy enough to go through. So, uh, let's just accept that right there. He's he's taking a wage cut. Maybe that's okay. Maybe you guys can leave your thoughts on that. But this is the kind. This is the deal Luis Suarez wants for going to PSG. So I think, yeah, that's what he brought to us. Let's yeah, let's just go ahead and accept that then. Not much negotiating needed to bring Suarez to PSG. I think it might be a little bit different in real life, though. And there it is. Luis Suarez at PSG. All went through very, very nicely there. And all that stuff we don't really need to read, you guys. But, yeah, the specifics of the salary and whatnot. So, yeah, managed to sign Luis Suarez. And then we'll be able to see the breaking news there. Furthermore, if we just... There you can see <laughs> with Danny Alves, uh, but they're uh, leading the line at PSG now. And because he would be signed in the case, if he's coming, he would expect to be the starting striker. He'll be replacing Cavani. And if it's the case where, um, yeah, Neymar is not getting along with Cavani, he'll be the same. Cavani might want to be leaving then. So we will make that change. And I'm going to simulate through the season. Uh, maybe we'll just... 
make the team a little bit stronger through different changes or whatnot. Uh, this guy here is 77 overall. He's 21. Uh, Diarra's is 80 overall. Probably just be a bit a bit stronger in his performances. And either if you start Ariola, just yeah, leave him. He's a bit younger, so he can improve. It's pretty. There's uh, Pastore as well, so it's just a mix of yeah, who you think will be better. Even maybe ahead of Rabio. Uh, I think I heard some rumors for him as well, but we're not going to go through to make like so many transfers here. Let's see how the season pans out. So we'll disregard July here. We'll skip to uh, the end of August. Uh, we'll simulate and see the results up until then. Uh, see how PSG goes. As you would expect, though, uh, in the league, they should be smashing. Uh, so after that, I think we'll just focus more on the Champions League uh, and see how that will go. There we are, end of August. Let's see the results. Winning 4-2, 1-0, 2-1, and 2-1. But interesting, uh, losing that final there against Monaco. And a few of pre-season results, not too important, but some wins there. Oh, a loss against Barca. Uh, yeah, struggled <laughs> struggled against Barca, that's funny. So guys, oh, looking at it, unfortunately, they're still playing Cavani. Uh, oh, I can only do, I can only do so much. I can only sign Suarez and yeah. I can only I thought I'd put it on the bench might get some better results if he would come on but yeah Suarez should be starting um, especially he's a higher rating as well so yeah either way hey he's still in the team he'll get more appearances uh, throughout the season um, <laughs> surely hopefully so what I will do I'll go simulate to the end of December because that would have been that final yeah group stage game and yeah hopefully they do give now their best striker a chance and the player I've put <laughs> in the striker position Definitely he'll get games. So taking a look at this as expected, PSG killing in the league. Uh, let's see how they're going in the Champions League. And here it looks like the group stage was pretty tight in this one. Obviously it wasn't the groups of real life. Uh, but yeah, Roma, Final, Sevilla, PSG finished top of the group. Uh, we're still not being too amazing. Only winning two out of the six uh, was a very tight group, but they make it out uh, into the knockouts. So you can see Suarez has got a few more starts now. Uh, as you see, that's just how it is in FIFA. Uh, yeah, maybe Cavani is scripted to get the more starts. Whatever, uh, the most starts. I, I don't really know. I don't really know how it works. Uh, they're both going down in the overall. Uh, Suarez is still the better player. But say, we take a look. This might just say it as well. Uh, I won't need any other information. Suarez has scored more in fewer starts. 27 appearances for Cavani. That's 17 in the league. Uh, Suarez, look, only four and and three. That that should stay. That should just say everything we need to know uh, in this experiment. Even if they're going to be playing Cavani more, uh, Suarez scoring more uh, from fewer appearances. Quite a quite a few. Uh, quite a few less. Look, 10 to 27. Uh, yep, yeah, says it all. <laughs> Halfway through the season. Hashtag Cavani out. It wouldn't be crazy if this video uh, did all right and <laughs> that hashtag caught on uh, Cavani out and I might low-key be responding. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> but that would just be funny. So now, guys, I'm just going to sim the rest of the season and see how it plays out. Oh, but guys, I just saw here, uh, they lost against Juventus in the quarters. Uh, Juventus, tough opponent. They're one to go all the way, most definitely, their quality. Uh, so, yeah, 1-1, one, 1-0, one, uh, one uh, pretty tight. Uh, they were able to get past Chelsea. You see 2-2 two, two there, and then was able to, well, the previous one, 2-2. Two, two. It was actually, Chelsea was tight as well, 2-2, two, 2-2. Two, two, two. So, there must have been penalties uh, to get through that, so... Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna end there, guys. Unfortunately, uh, PSG. It's just more. Uh, I just made this video for the interesting, uh, yeah, signing. Uh, it would be for PSG, um, and you can see they'll probably go on to win the league there. So I think I will leave it because uh, you're not really as focused on the league and probably more importantly you want to see how uh, he would have done uh, Suarez and a bit annoying that they weren't playing him like the same amount because again we'll go to the status. So by how he's 91 still by the end of the season. Uh, Cavani is 87. But like I said, also there's a good chance if Suarez does sign, if this rumor does happen, because right now it's just a rumor. It may not. It may not happen. They may sign a different player. Who knows? Suarez could be happy at Barcelona, happy in Spain. 
Uh, you never really know. So he did end up, ooh, end up playing 20 sets, so a fair amount. And then there's Mbappe as well. Uh, if we take a look at Varney, 37 by the end of the season, sk still only scored four. Uh, most goals did actually come from Neymar. So he may carry that weight. He may carry that weight of um, his opinion uh, of who he wants <laughs> at PSG uh, because he is an absolute star. But the fact, yeah, that he scored more goals. Well, Cavani had a hand in his assists, uh, to be fair. Uh, but Suarez... Hey, from those starts, you'd probably you'd probably expect more from Suarez. But don't forget, this is just FIFA, and if he signed in real life, yeah, I think uh, he will make he will make a huge impact to PSG. Him and Neymar together, Mbappe only ever improving as well. But guys, we will leave it there. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys next time.